infectious diseases, research, medicine, health. Welcome to Outbreak News Interviews. And now, broadcasting from the Outbreak News Skylar Studios in beautiful West Central Florida, here is your host, microbiologist and editor of OutbreakNewsToday.com, Robert Harriman. Dr. Gump, what is Yersinia enterocolitica? Yeah. So Yersinia enterocolitica is a species of Yersinia that's associated with diarrhea, or it can cause a typhoid-like syndrome, an enteric fever, similar to Salmonella typhi. And Yersinia uh, is most often found in pigs. Uh, pork is the pigs are the major reservoir. And people who eat pork intestines, like chitterlings, are at risk for Yersinia. Uh, people who consume raw dairy and undercooked chicken uh, are also at risk for Yersinia infection. And one inter- interesting thing about this uh, organism is sometimes you see it causing an infection via blood transfusions. Yes, um, and I'm glad you brought that up. Um, that wasn't in the pearls. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really important um, because it is a, a complication of blood transfusions. In recent years, it's been recognized as being a cause of, uh, a significant cause of mortality. Uh, Yersinia intracolitica uh, can proliferate rapidly when it contaminates uh, red blood cells can produce a lot of enterotoxin uh, when it's contaminating a, a bag. And when it's infused, it can cause overwhelming septic shock. Sure. And, uh, mm-hmm. No, go ahead. Yeah, no, uh, one of the symptoms uh, that uh, may uh, manifest initially is explosive diarrhea followed by septic shock. Hmm. And the mortality is over 50% in those cases. Uh, fortunately, the blood supply is very well screened for viruses, but it's much harder to uh, prevent uh, all contamination, bacterial contamination of uh, uh, blood products. So how do you, how do you treat it? Um, you treat it with uh, quinolones or uh, sulfa, trimethoprim sulfa. Um, and there's also uh, intravenous, of course, if uh, intravenous, of course, if uh, if it's uh, a patient with septic shock. Sure, and um, you can also see extra intestinal infections. Yes, uh, the main uh, extra intestinal um, manifestation uh, or complication uh, uh, of Yersinia enterocolitica is reactive arthritis, uh, also known as Ryder syndrome. And that can happen in about 15% of infections. And that seems to be associated uh, with HLA B27 gene. Uh, those individuals, unfortunately, have risks for a variety of things. But uh, this is also one of them. Two-thirds of those who have reactive arthritis uh, have the HLA B27 gene. And that may manifest uh, two or three weeks later. Uh, of course, it, it can be caused by Campylobacter, Salmonella, Shigella, all the other intestinal pathogens. But, yeah, Yersinia can right. certainly be uh, up there. So, I, yeah, I, I'm, I was mistaken there. I called it extra-intestinal infection. We're talking about mm-hmm. extra-intestinal disease. Yeah. Um, 